I welcome you all in this next video on design procedure of knuckle joint. So this is the step number five. Calculate the dimensions DO and D1 from standard relations. So now let us see what is a DO and D1. So this is the fork that we have seen in the introductory lecture of knuckle joint and this is the eye. This fork as well as eye has end feature like hollow cylinder. So it must have outer diameter. So outer diameter of this fork end or I end is DO and this is the pin used in knuckle joint so it has one head so the diameter of this pin head is nothing but the D1 so DO is the outer diameter of fork and I end and D1 is the diameter of pin head so now let us write the relation standard relation for this DO and D1 so DO can be calculated as do is equal to twice the small d and d1 is equal to 1.5 times of d so this is the relation for outer diameter of fork or i and this is the diameter of pin head so we can write where where d is equal to diameter of knuckle pin in mm do is equal to outer a diameter of outer diameter of fork or i in mm and d1 is equal to diameter of pin head in mm so this is about this step number five so in this step number five just we have to calculate these two dimensions from standard relation now step number six is check the tensile shear and crushing stress in the eye so now we have to see the equation of a tensile stress shear stress and crushing stress for i and we have to check the stress in this i using the given equations so first we'll see what is the tensile stress equation for i so for that purpose we have to refer the previous article stress equations for knuckle joint so this is the article stress equation for knuckle joint that we have seen in the previous video lectures and this is the failure of i and this is the tensile failure of i so the equation of tensile stress in the i is given by equation sigma t is equal to p upon b into d0 minus d so already we have derived the equation of tensile stress in the i with the help of diagram in this article stress equation for a knuckle joint and this is the equation of tensile stress in the eye. So it is this is the equation sigma t is equal to p upon b into d0 minus d. So we will write this equation here. So tensile stress in the eye is given by equation sigma t is equal to p upon b into d0 minus d. And this is the equation of tensile stress in the eye and with the help of this equation we have to check the tensile stress in the eye now the second equation that we have to see here that is the shear stress in the eye so for this purpose we have to refer again the previous article that is stress equation for knuckle joint and particularly we have to refer the stress equation for i so in that stress equation of i we have seen the third point failure of i and particularly we have seen the shear failure of i so with the with the help of this sketch we have derived the equation of shear stress in the i and this equation is tau is equal to p upon b into d0 minus d so we have to use this equation to find out the shear stress in the i so let us use this equation here in the design procedure So this equation is shear stress in the eye is given by equation tau is equal to 
p upon b into d0 minus d so already we know all the terms included in this equation what is mean by p what is mean by b do and d we have discussed in detail these terms in the stress equations for knuckle joint so this is about the shear stress in the eye and with the help of this equation we have to check the shear stress in the eye now the next equation that we have to write is crushing stress in the eye and for this purpose again we have to refer the previous article that is stress equation in the knuckle joint and this is the one of the point that we have seen in this stress equation of knuckle joint that is crushing failure of pin in the eye so this is the equation of crushing stress for pin and this crushing stress sigma c is applied by i on the pin so if this is the equation of crushing stress applied by i on the pin then the same equation you can we can use to find the crushing stress exerted by pin on the eye so here the concept is that crushing stress exerted by i on pin is same as that of crushing stress exerted by pin on the i this is because the every action has equal and opposite reaction so we can say that the crushing stress exerted by i on the pin is same as that of crushing stress exerted by pin on the i so we can use this equation that is sigma c is equal to p upon bd to find out the crushing stress in the i actually here this is the equation of crushing stress in the pin but we can use the same equation to find out the crushing stress in the i so directly we will write this equation here for crushing stress in the i is given as sigma c is equal to p upon bd so this is the equation of crushing stress in the i and we have used the same equation here to find out crushing stress in the pin so with this uh, equation our step number 6 is completed but now here uh, remember very important point in this step we are going to check the tensile stress in the eye with this, with the help of this equation we are going to check the shear stress in the eye with the help of this equation and crushing stress in the eye with the help of this equation now in the numerical you will get some values for this equation for this equation and for this crushing stress equation then after calculating all these three values you have to compare the each value with the permissible stress that means for the safe design for the safe design this tensile stress in the eye must be less than must be less than permissible tensile stress must be less than permissible tensile stress for i that is sigma t of i again for the safe design of i shear stress in the eye that is this tau value must be less than permissible shear stress for i that is tau for i and again similarly for the safe design of i this value of crushing stress must be less than permissible permissible compressive stress for the i that is we can write sigma c of i so this sigma c must be less than sigma c of i and already we have seen how to find out this permissible tensile stress how to find permissible shear stress and how to find this permissible crushing stress or compressive stress in previous article of permissible stresses so if you don't understand if you don't know how to find out this permissible stresses please watch the previous video which i have made particularly dedicatedly on permissible stresses how to calculate the permissible stresses and how to use this permissible stresses to find out the dimension now the last step in the design posture of knuckle joint is the step number 7 and this step is check the tensile shear and crushing stress 
in the fork. So now let us see what are the equation of tensile stress, crushing stress and shear stress for fork. Now let us see the first equation for a fork that is tensile stress in the fork. So in order to get this equation we have to refer the previous article stress equation for knuckle joint where we have derived this equation of tensile stress in the fork. So this is the diagram that we have seen in this article of stress equation for knuckle joint and in this article we have seen particularly the failure of fork and the first stress that is tensile failure of fork. So the tensile failure of fork occurs because of the tensile stress and we have derived this equation with the help of this sketch. So you can see here this is this is the fork end two fork ends and which are subjected to a tensile failure like this because of the tensile stress and we have derived the equation of tensile stress here like this. So sigma t is equal to p upon twice a into d0 minus d where p is the external force applied, a is the thickness of this fork end, do is the outer diameter of this fork and d is the diameter of pin or diameter of hole where we are going to put the pin in this fork. So we have to use this equation to uh, check the tensile stress in the fork in this design procedure. So we will write this equation here. So tensile stress in the fork is given by equation sigma t is equal to p upon twice a into d0 minus d. So this is the equation of tensile stress. So this is the equation of tensile stress in the fork. With the help of this equation we can check the tensile stress in the fork and we can check the safety of this fork. Now the second stress in the fork is shear stress in the fork. Again in order to get this equation of shear stress in the fork we have to refer the previous article stress equation in the knuckle joint. So in the stress equation for knuckle joint we have studied the failure of fork and particularly we have seen uh, shear filler of fork. So this is the fork end. These are the two fork ends and which are subjected to shear filler. That means this much portion, this much portion of these fork ends will get cut. It will get removed from this fork end because of the shear stress. And in this uh, article we have derived the equation of shear stress in the fork uh, like this. So tau that is shear stress in the fork is given as p upon twice a into d0 minus d. Now the same equation we have to use in this design procedure by which we, are, we can check the shear stress in the fork. So we can write this equation here in this design procedure. So shear stress tau in the fork is given by equation p upon twice a into d0 minus d. So this is the equation of shear stress in the fork and we have to check this value of shear stress in the fork in order to comment about the safety of fork. Now the last uh, stress in this fork is crushing stress in the fork and this crushing stress in the fork we have to get it from the previous article that is a stress equation for knuckle joint. So in this article of stress equation of knuckle joint we have seen the equation article like crushing failure of pin in the fork and this is the equation of crushing stress acting on pin and which is exerted by fork. Now the same equation we can use for fork because the crushing stress applied by fork on the pin and crushing stress applied by pin on the fork is same because of equal and opposite reaction. So that means we can write here crushing stress on pin due to fork is equal to crushing stress on fork due to pin and already we have equation for crushing stress in the pin which is exerted by fork so we can use the same equation sigma c is equal to p upon twice ad as the crushing stress on the fork due to pin so therefore we can write this equation 
sigma c is equal to crushing stress in the fork is equal to p upon twice a into d so this is the equation of crushing stress in the fork and we have to put the value of p a and d to find out this crushing stress now in this step we are going to check the tensile shear and crushing stress in the fork that means we are going to find out the find out the value of tensile stress we are going to find out the value of shear stress and we are going to find out the value of crushing stress in the fork and after calculating the each value of this stress we are going to compare these values with the permissible stresses corresponding permissible stresses and for the safe design this tensile stress in the fork must be less than permissible tensile stress in the fork material that is sigma t of fork so this is the permissible tensile stress for the fork material we can calculate by using this equation SYT upon FS where this SYT is yield strength for the fork material and FS is factor of safety which will be given similarly in order to check this shear stress value we have to compare the calculated value of shear stress with the permissible value of shear stress that is tau permissible shear stress tau for fork for the safe design the calculated value of shear stress must be less than permissible shear stress and that we can calculate by using equation SSY upon FS and this SSY can be taken as equal to 0.5 SYT and upon FS as it is. So in this way we can calculate the permissible shear stress in the fork material where this SYT is yield strength for fork material and FS is factor of safety. Similarly to check the safety of uh, fork under crushing stress we have to calculate first crushing stress in the fork and we have to compare this value of calculated crushing stress with the permissible crushing stress in the fork and this permissible crushing stress in the fork ca can be calculated by using equation SYC upon FS where this SYC is yield strength in compression which we can take equal to yield strength in tension and FS is factor of safety that means we have for the safe design of this fork all the stresses like tensile stress, shear stress and crushing stress must be less than its corresponding tensile permissible tensile stress, permissible shear stress and permissible crushing stress. If this condition is fulfilled then and then only we can say that the design of fork is safe. So with this step number 7 we have completed the design procedure of knuckle joint.